Hey guys, uh, today I'm going to show you a, uh, a function called uh, proof copy which is very uh, handy to use when you want to print uh, uh, multiple copies uh, or multiple prints of uh, a document and you just want to check it first before you go ahead and print uh, the rest of it. So um, what I've got here, I've just got a uh, PDF file open here. This is uh, one of my brochures that I'd like to print and today I need uh, 10 of those printed. So I'm going to go to file and print. Uh, I'm going to set my properties and I'm actually using uh, one of my favorite settings here. I'm just going to use this one here, A3 uh, book with cover. That's just a favorite I've got set up so that will print this on A3 as a booklet with a center staple and fold and um, I'm gonna the only thing I'm gonna change to this now is uh, to change this output method from print to proof print so proof print means that it will it will print out one copy and uh, basically hold it there so you can release the remaining uh, prints if you're happy with the uh, with the proof uh, print. So I'm just going to hit OK on that. I'm going to say I want uh, 10 copies. There we go, 10. And just print it like normal. So I'll hit print on here and just let that go through. Uh, now, next, we're going to go to the printer and I'm going to show you uh, what happens there. Okay, so we're now waiting for the first uh, copy to print out. You can see that it's now uh, uh, now going. And this is a function that is available on all Chronic Minolta models, by the way. You can see there's my uh, first brochure. And uh, I can have a quick look at that and see, make sure that I'm happy with it. It looks pretty good to me. Uh, I got all my settings correct and uh, it looks as I expected but you noted that I, uh, I asked for 10 copies of this and only one printed out so here's the secret to get this uh, proof uh, copy working if I go into the job list here just at the top because you see there's no message on the screen uh, asking you to uh, you know release or complete the remaining prints so we're going to go into the job list here on this one and while you're on this active screen you can see there's no jobs or anything on there but there's a button on the right here called release held jobs I'll just zoom in on that so you can see that button there the release held jobs so I'll click on that and then you can see that there's actually one job in there job stored it says and I can highlight that one and you can see I've got some uh, uh, settings here I can delete change setting go into settings or details or start and cancel and I'm just gonna hit start uh, because I was happy with my proof print and you can see there there's a zero out of nine remaining so there's nine print nine copies if you like remaining of this print and uh, my printer is now starting to print the rest of the uh, jobs. Okay, there's the next one coming out. And uh, there we go. I'm now going to get my uh, remaining uh, nine copies. That's it.